Hey everybody, this is Chris at From The Mines and today I'm going to be showing you a part of my collection, uh, probably the bulk of the value of my collection. And so let's check out piece by piece. This is a citrine geode pair uh, that I acquired in 2016. Uh, it was coming out of the mines, it was cooked amethyst. I would say that this pair is going to probably retail value around 180,000 for the pair. Let's even get over here. Uh, this is another one of my pieces. It's uh, what you would call cherry citrine. Points are really good. It's a very, very high-end piece. One of the things about citrine is that you can't cook big pieces like this anymore. So that's why I hold on to them and I'm not really trying to sell them. It's because you can't get this material anymore. You never will again. I would say that this piece is going to retail around 125000 this is my Amethyst Uruguayan Love Chair. I got this piece uh, at the mines in uh, 2015, I believe. It's got cacoxonite inside of it. It's a uh, borderline ametrine, and it has like really beautiful red bacon agate around the borders. It's got this huge pine down here, uh, really spectacular piece. And I would say that the retail value of this piece is probably close to $100,000. This is my handmade uh, bonsai tree. So there was an artist in Brazil who hand makes all of the bonsai trees and he retired in 2018. And this was one of the last trees that he had made by hand. And I would say that this will probably retail for around like $45,000. And then this is my monster, my biggest piece. For me to sell this piece, I'd want $250,000. Uh, I don't think there's really a value you can put on this guy just because I think it's one of a kind. I don't know if you'll ever see this again. This is my Amatrine cave. It's from Uruguay. It has these crazy calcite formations inside of them which have druzy on it. If you took that calcite formation out just by itself, it'd be worth $25,000. Uh, it has a double twin calcite point at the top and uh, I, would, I, I would imagine this going for around $200,000, this piece. This is my Amatrine wall. I actually got this last year. It's my newest piece. It's pure Amatrine. It's natural. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's like black druze inside of it as well. Super, super, super piece. I would say retail value of this is around 125. And this is actually my first big piece. Uh, this is the piece I've had the longest. Uh, it's, a, it's a multiple amethyst cave. Uh, originally, I was in talks with the museum about this piece and I decided to keep it instead because the museum was actually like a smaller museum and I didn't think that they were going to last really long and I just, I thought the piece was so special that I actually wound up keeping this for myself and again, this is my first large piece and I would say that retail value of this thing is probably around like 95000 this isn't necessarily part of my collection yet until I maybe one day have this, the, the place for it, but this is an Amatrine table from Uruguay. It's absolutely spectacular. And uh, I would say the retail value of this Amatrine table is gonna be uh, around $120,000. This is, I don't really know what, <laughs> but uh, I know it's barite and I know it's quartz. I know it has agate inside of it. Uh, the miners, when they pulled this thing out, it actually came out of the Southern Brazil mines. Uh, Amachista de Sol. It's such an, such an oddity. I've never seen anything like it, so we decided to keep it. Uh, I don't really know what the retail value of this thing would be because I've never seen anything like it, but if someone wanted to buy it from me, uh, per period, I would probably want like 75000 for this piece. This piece we decided to hold on to because of the calcite formation. I've never seen such a big calcite point, and the calcite point actually has crystallized druzy on top of it. Um, again, I've never seen a calcite point like that before, so I decided to keep this piece. And I would say that this piece would retail, if I ever decided to sell it, uh, I, would I would probably want like around 75000 for this piece. A long story short here, uh, this is my piece of petrified bamboo, it's from Indonesia. Getting Indonesian wood to the US is something that people still do, although it's not really something you're supposed to do. But I acquired this piece a, a long time ago, I had to move it from place to place to place to get it to the US. And finally, I got it here, and I wound up keeping this guy, this guy, and this guy, which are the three biggest ones that I had. And I would say the culmination of the three of them are probably worth around $150,000 for the three of them. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching me go through my big piece collection, and I'll see you soon.